Welcome to Knicks.com. I'm Jonah Ballo here at MSG Training Center. The Knicks about to board the plane for a trip to Chicago. A quick one here for a New Year's Day special against the Chicago Bulls. You got to imagine this is a different situation than when you face them coming uh, when the Bulls came to New York in terms of going four overtimes and having that long battle and then facing uh, this Knicks squad on a back to back. Now this is a situation where you would figure they're a little bit more rested, a little bit more healthy with Pau Gasol back in the lineup. Derek Rose, not sure of his status, but what do you expect from the Chicago team in this matchup? I mean, we'll expect they play a style of basketball that's um, they play very hard tough basketball. Um, we're expecting, you know, their best game. I know, uh, I don't think Joe Kim Noah is going to be out there either, and he's a, a big part of what they do with their energy and everything, but, um, you know, the last time we played them, we were on a back-to-back -back too, so it was kind of, uh, you know, we were both going through that, but um, we're just expecting them to do what they do. They play hard, they defend, they move the basketball, and um, we're hoping to do the same thing. You know, what's interesting is everybody thought with the change in coaching, with Fred Hoiberg taking over defensively, would they be the same team? They're actually a very good defensive team still. Do you still see the same tenants that they uh, try to use on a nightly basis from the defensive side of the floor? Or do they change things up a little bit? Uh, well, they have good defensive players. Right. Um, in the past, when they're building their team um, uh, through the defense with Coach Thibodeau, uh, they got good defensive players. So they still have great defensive players. and. You know, I think the schemes are a little bit different, but as long as you have good defenders that are, are bought in and willing to defend, I mean, it's going to make your defense look pretty good. And with Pau Gasol there in the lineup, that changes things as well. Pretty good shot blocker still, still roams that paint, and also a terrific passer we saw in the overtime game. He throws that lob to Jimmy Butler, and, you know, the catch and finish was great, sort of the tipping, I should say. Yeah. But Pau Gasol making that pass and what he does, how do you defend him, and what do you tell your bigs about keeping him at bay? Well, you gotta you gotta pressure him a little bit because he is such a good passer, and you know this, he's probably seen every defense you could throw at him. But you know, we, with all of our bigs, we want to be physical with them and not let them catch it, the ball at certain spots. And then once they do catch it, we like to pressure the ball to make it make it hard to make easy passes. And he's one of the best in the league, so we gotta be on point with that tomorrow night. We were just talking about Jimmy Butler and sort of his rise, and you, you usually see this when a guy has a breakout season. Sometimes he, uh, he falls back down to earth a little bit. There's ebbs and flows to his game, but he seems to now be picking it up quite a bit. What do you see from him on both sides of the floor? And, and again, another matchup where Aaron Aflalo has got to handle a pretty big guard there on the wing. Right. I, you know, I think with any coaching change and the system's a little bit different, if, if you have to think about certain things that are, that are different, it can kind of um, hinder your effort a little bit and Jimmy Butler is a hard-nosed guy he plays extremely hard and you know that's what we're expecting to get from him and I think that now he's getting more comfortable with the new system and everything you're kind of seeing less thinking and just you know the same old Jimmy Butler hard-nosed defense cutting hard moving the ball and scoring the basketball. Have you noticed any change in pace in terms of what they do offensively with Fred Hoiberg? I know in college with Iowa State, he'd like to run that break, get a lot of three-point opportunities in transition. Do you see some of those things going on here, or are they still trying to work out the changes offensively? No, I mean, offensively, they look good. Their spacing is good, and they're, they're playing a little bit faster, but um, they're still running um, the similar stuff that Coach Thibodeau ran. And, um, maybe a little different flow to it, and there's there's some of um, Coach Hoiberg's stuff in there as well. But um, you know, offensively they're the same. They always have good spacing. They move the ball. I think that's a tribute to the, their players that they have. They have very good players, and and they shoot the basketball well. So it's it's always a tough cover against them. Also looking at the statistics. Rebounding, I mean, keeping them off the glass is going to be a major uh, issue for uh, any team that walks into the United Center. And so what do you have to do in terms of making sure that you control the glass? And probably that is a big part of keeping them out of the paint, second chance points. Right. And that's something we've struggled with over uh, the past month or so. Our defense has been pretty good, but um, our defensive rebounding has not been as good as we would like it to be. Uh, last game against Detroit, I thought we made a jump. We really did a nice job on Andre Drummond not letting him get in and get offensive rebounds. And the key is, you know, the bigs get in there and they're wrestling. We have to get the guards and the wings to get in and, and snatch a couple of those rebounds. And I, I think we may have turned a corner the last game. The guys are understanding now. We've been watching film on, you know, how we need to get in there and rebound. So hopefully that carries over to the next game and also to the future.
Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the last game against Detroit, a really excellent effort from both sides of the ball. Andre Drummond, which we thought was going to be a big problem there in the paint. He's been tearing up teams all around the league. Robin Lopez comes out with, I think, maybe arguably one of his best defensive performances of the season. Uh, what did you think and what are the takeaways from that performance against Detroit? And how do you replicate that moving forward? Well, the thing is, we're, we're one of the bigger teams in the league. And you have Robin and Chris Stapps and uh, Kyle off the bench and Kevin and, and those guys that um, we knew that we had the, the size to go against them. But the key, like I said before, was the other guys, the bigger wings we have, Carmelo and even Aaron and Lance mm -hmm. and Derek Williams, getting in there and getting the rebounds and also just making the paint look crowded. And our bigs usually do a pretty good job of that. Our guards are doing a better job not getting screened in the pick and rolls. And it was really the other guys, the wings, that were really getting in there and making it look crowded that, that really helped us out. Excellent stuff as always. Uh, we're going to let you go so we can get on this plane to All Chicago. Right. And uh, happy New Year's. Thank you. You too. Thanks, right. guys. There he is, Josh Longstaff, right here at Knicks.com.